This video is sponsored exclusively by Adjuster Supply and Bully Bag. Check the links where you're watching this video to pick up all the gear mentioned right here. One of the best things about running property claims, especially on catastrophe duty, is all the cool gadgets we get to play with. When we work, we've got to have durable, reliable gear that will keep us safe and help us crush our cycle times. In this video, I visited with Jared Allen from Adjuster Supply and Bully Bag at his Kansas City warehouse to talk about the essential gear he takes with him when he runs claims on storm deployments. Here's Jared. Well, my name is Jared Allen. I've been an adjuster since uh, 2009. Um, I am the founder of Bully Bag and Tool Company, as well as AdjusterSupply.com. We're based out of Kansas City, Missouri, and um, I'm also a trainer for both Xactimate and Two Story Steep and Adjuster uh, 101 courses. We realized several years ago, or a couple years ago actually, that the brand Bully Bag was growing beyond just adjusters for those tool solutions. So we wanted to provide a site where adjusters could go to find essentially everything that they need. We're a niche company that focuses on the two genres of inspectors and estimators, which includes, of course, adjusters and PAs and roof sales and so on and so forth. We also own AccuLine, which has been around since 1966. We bought that in 2018 and um, have uh, improved on the original. The double clip of the AccuLine flipboard is made to have smooth on one side and AccuLine straight line draw on the other. So when you show up to your property and you're doing your inspection, we'll see if this pin works. I don't know, it's been in my bag for a while. Whether you're an auto adjuster and you're writing out the accident, what happened where, and you have to write um, straight lines. So, really great for interior work as well. So AccuLine was the originators of the straight line draw without a ruler, and we took it over in 2018. Well, we're definitely expanding. We're expanding into uh, retail locations. Um, the important thing, I think, right now, as far as time is concerned, is it's hurricane season. So, you know, you don't have to start stockpiling food necessarily, but you do want to make sure your licenses are in order. You got your, your gear, you got your, you know, everything that you're going to need um, ready to roll out. You know, it's no time like the present. You want to get comfortable with the gear that you have that you're going to be using on a day to day basis. For example, my, my Ultra Pouch, for example, my Bully Bag Ultra Pouch, it's you know, on CAT, it's loaded with a 100-foot tape measure, you know, my laser measure, my camera, you know, two pins, two batteries, my business cards, chalk, and my gloves. So, uh, oh, don't forget my sidebar. Got to have that. You know, it's good to familiarize yourself with, with your tools, know how to use them right. You know, um, you know how to use a sidebar. It's great for protecting your fingers too, because the the design of, of the angle on that. But also, you know, you may get your pouch. You go, you know what? I'm more of a belt person. I want to buy the belt instead, or I want to, in addition to, what have you. Or I don't want to do two story steep. I want to do this, or you know, really kind of not just where your comfort zone is, but where your productivity zone is, and get you know, used to, you know, writing your log notes in an effective way for each carrier, taking the photos that they need, having a good camera. So yeah, definitely, definitely important to get familiar with the gear that you're going to be using in, on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, don't wait, yeah, don't wait to buy it, you know, you know, you got shipping issues, you know, if you're on site and you're buying, that may be a challenge, you know, you may have to ship it to a UPS store, but you definitely want to, you know, buy your gear early, get used to it, get it broken in. Combos are great, you know, for the new adjuster as well as the person just wanting to get set up with new gear. Those are set up. I think our most popular is both the Elite as well as 8-Pack. The Elite is essentially everything that you're going to need other than your ladder and your laser measure, really. Um, and that's available in all three, the Babson, the, the paddle, and the, um, the belt system. Though, you know, those are the 8-Pack, for example, that would be like an ultra pouch, um, a gear, retainer, which is great for your camera, um, a badge retainer, which is great for your, your badge or your shingle gauge. Uh, you got a 100 foot tape measure, an adjuster grip 25 foot tape measure. Those combos, they get more elaborate, uh, but the 8-pack is our, yeah. our top seller for the, for the bundles. I would like to say also for the IA firms out there that the, um, the AccuLine, this is, comes in a, a blank version to where we can have it custom logoed for them. Uh, they want to have their print on this side and then of course you got the AccuLine grid on the back side. Just a real nice uh, touch 
custom uh, logo, really great for corporate gifts as well as productivity. So, and that's what it's all about. They almost every time want embroidery on, you know, on the lid. And, you know, we do that. We do that for our IA firms, for, you know, for the companies that, that uh, require it. So we're going to be moving to a patch system soon where we'll be, we'll just have the patches made up in advance. It's going to, going to be really sharp. We're excited about that. Alan, going to go over some uh, um, essential gear that I take on, on big catastrophes, especially hurricanes. Um, of course, you know, we're going to start with our bully bag ultra patch. This is an outstanding piece of equipment, 12 chambers and all, you know, it's lightweight, 15 ounces. It's high speed, low drag. I've got mine on right now. Actually, it's covered with the harness, which is exceptional. Um, works really great for your two story steep applications as well. I guess secondly, we would talk about the adjust grip tape measure. Now this is great because I'm gonna kinda get up here a little bit, Matt, and show that large tip on that. That's great because, you know, whenever you're measuring that rake or that eave or that gutter, you know, you get about four feet, eight feet, and it pops off every time. Um, this is an outstanding, um, tape, tape measure the clip will hold on to even round objects as well as, uh, of course, a square. Uh, it does have a magnetic tip and both sides are numbered so you can see. Beyond that, of course, don't leave home without it, your um, sidebar. So if you're doing like checking layers, you want to get up under there, see how many layers you've got. Or if you need to remove any siding to document the elevation, or if you got to get underneath there, or if you got to do an ITEL sample, this is an outstanding tool. It is actually designed to go right inside your bully bag ultra pouch. I'll put in this one right here so you can see a little bit better. This one's super sharp. Gloves, of course, gloves are great. Um, I like uh, our pit grid gloves. These are outstanding. They are super, super grippy. Um, safety gloves, and um, they're gray so they're not you know too hot um, in the summer heat beyond that is uh, our tool retainer these are outstanding these are great because if you're up on a two-story steep let's say and um, you've got to secure simple things like your 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 clipboard or your aculines flipboard either one it's got a locking panel okay so won't come undone there or if you need you've got 48 inches of reach with this item here, it's only eight ounces of pull, so that's a huge help. What else I use this for is not just for my flipboard, but I'll take another one up, especially on those two-story Steve applications. You say you're climbing a 12-12, 18-12, you just take that big split ring in the back of your tape, just put it right through it. That way when it falls, because it's gonna, doesn't go anywhere, okay? It may drop down, you know, a little bit, but you're still gonna keep it with you. Kevlar cord, I uh, highly recommend um, the uh, tool managers. So down here with the two-story steep stuff. So we've got our Prusik here. That's your secondary. You, some people do use it as a primary, but it's supposed to be your secondary whenever you're on rope and um, ascending, descending, keep you from falling. When you do lose your balance or your grip, it's gonna catch you. So. Um, that's just a simple tension knot application. Goes through two times. These are um, these are pre-sewn and pre-sealed prusiks, so they're that's what I prefer. And of course, uh, your gri gri or other uh, controlled descent item, and then of course your um, Petzl um, shock absorber. Okay, easiest way to remember it. That's really great because um, it. Well, it absorbs a shock if you do have a fall at height. For the really steep ones is your, asc your ascender. This is great, this is forward travel only. You put it in to the rope, pull yourself up. Um, I've, done, I've done inspections as steep as 2412 and um, without a uh, bracket to hold on to, well, you're gonna be struggling. I can't even imagine doing it 24. Yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah, it was actually um, uh, Juan, uh, my friend Juan, he called me, he said, you gotta take this one for me. And I came out there and I did it for him. And uh, he was my trainer. That was, that was a long time ago. And then I had a 22-12 and I send those pictures to people and they're like, what are you doing? You know, speaking of which, Matt, um, you'll see here uh, in the, um, on the Bully Bag Ultra Pouch right here, there's these two slots 
both are sealed. There's one here that's for like your pens or whatever. But there's another one right there. Too many times going up and down on say a 1812, my battery would run out of juice. Okay, so that's my backup. I'll put a couple batteries in there. Um, of course, I'm using a, um, a Petzl Falcon harness. It's an outstanding uh, work harness. Good Falcon. It's a great, great harness. An auxiliary pack. Okay, so I'll keep this on my harness. Never seems to fail. You didn't take enough chalk with you. I'll usually keep like, you know, a few sticks of chalk in here at all times. Keeps it dry. I know what's in there, see-through. And I'll take this with me, I'll put it on an S-beaner, clip it to my gear, and away we go. And then of course, you gotta have your pitch gauge so you can document the claim. These are actually pre-drilled. These are great. Um, I'll take like a zip tie. Some You can put a carabiner, a small, thin carabiner through it, I guess if you want. But I like to just take a zip tie and put mine through it and then I'll secure it with whatever, a carabiner, a band of wrap strap, whatever. For my gear, you know, of course I've got my gloves. This is my setup here. So of course I've got my chalk in here. I use um, railroad chalk. It's, uh, that's available on the adjusterssupply.com. We actually went to the expense and trouble of unpacking all the chalk and then repacking it um, to give you color variation. Because rare oil chalk only comes per case, one color, white, yellow, blue, whatever. But also essential gear is, this is just my preference. I know everybody's got their own thing, but my X4 laser measure, I have shot over 300 feet in August sunlight fencing with this laser measure. It's got a viewfinder on it that shows you an image of where it is you're shooting because in the middle of August and on exterior projects, you're not gonna be able to see. You know, other than my ladders and uh, of course my big gear bag that I uh, put my, my rope in um, and my lucky launcher too. Shoot your, your leader line up and over um, the roof. You're handling those two, three story roofs. And of course, strap. I'll take webbing. Uh, with me as well, uh, a couple hundred feet of uh, webbing just to make sure that I've got enough gear. Food for the travel, food for the cat. You never know what you're gonna come across on a hurricane. Get an auxiliary uh, fuel tank is a big deal to help you uh, recover in case you uh, get out there and there's no fuel. Yeah, well, water for sure, ibuprofen is a big thing. Um, but when it comes to, you know, cause you just don't, you just don't know. Uh, but when it comes to food, you know, I'd say something like meals ready to eat or um, what I've always done, which is cheaper and easier, is get, you know, I'll buy a couple cases of like Progresso soup with the peel off can. You gotta be, make sure you get the peel off can because in case you lose that can opener, right? And I'll just sit there and I'll just eat chunky soup, cold, whatever. You know, you gotta get the job done. Nothing's open anyway. Paper. You know, you want to make sure that you bring pillion paper. Definitely a um, inverter if you don't have an inverter. My truck is set up with a uh, professionally installed 2500 watt inverter underneath the passenger seat, so it's there all the time. Um, some people don't have that. If you've got a portable one, make sure you bring it. Some sort of blanket, you know, because you don't know. I mean, more than one time, my truck has been my, my hotel. Uh, it's not very glamorous, but you, you know, that's the work that you chose. You chose to be in the grit and uh, to get the job done so that, you, so that others may, um, you know, recover, you know, and, and, and you're, the, you're the foot soldier for the insurance company and for that policyholder to make sure that they are in a better place. And so your sacrifices um, are part of it. Definitely a couple cases of water, for sure. You know, Gatorade if you, you, know, if you like your electrolytes or, or what have you. You may not have coffee, so you may want to bring some few cans of either coffee or I'm a Monster Energy drink guy myself, so I'm probably going to bring my purple Monster. So I bring a couple of those, a couple color, a couple black. Don't forget your business cards, of course. I do have a checklist, and I can tell you my big gear bag is always loaded with all my two-story steep stuff, so I know I just got to grab that, and I'm, I'm covered there. So I know that that's always loaded all the time, no matter what. For more information about the gear we talked about in this video, head on over to adjustertv.com slash resources. There's a ton there beyond just gear, including apps, software, and training resources. Thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.